Josh, good to see you again, man. How you going? Nick, good to see you again. I always love chatting with you. We watched the movie last night and it is so fucking funny, man. I had oh, such a good time you. with it. I'd love to hear that. And, and one of the things that it really reminded me of is just how good it is to be in an audience of people just laughing and enjoying a movie. So I was actually really curious to find out, do you have a cinematic experience that you go to that was just one of those you enjoyed being in a crowd, you had so much fun, you were laughing along? Do you have a, a movie that comes to mind with that experience? I mean, I have a lot, yes. I think like the one that jumps out at me it's it's a weird one but i remember i mean there's so many I, I, there's i remember being at role models and the crowd cheering when the kiss truck came over that was right uh, right in burbank where i live like just a crowd cheering in the middle of a comedy was great i also had a wonderful memory uh, i mean it's a while back now which tells you a little bit about like we need comedies back but i had the most fun at tropic thunder mostly because i went with my now wife and we both were dying laughing but with her mother my mother-in-law <laughs> And oh, no. it did not, that movie went, she's a hilarious woman, but it went right over her head. She, I asked her afterwards, she said, I didn't understand it. I didn't like the trailers beforehand. And the, if you remember the trailers or the fake trailers from, yeah, yeah. from Ben Stiller. So I don't know, but you know, just being in that theater and like, uh, there's so many memories of so many comedies that I've just, you know, I weirdly also, by the way, went to 40 year old virgin also with my mother-in-law who also I think was very uncomfortable. So I need to stop going to comedies with, with my mother-in-law who I love. Uh, please keep that part. No. Um, anyway. Yeah. I love it. I, I love, I just, yeah, I'm so glad you got to see it with people because it's, you know, it is a special feeling of like, Oh yeah, this is what it's like to be in a kind of communal experience, which is very normal and very human to share an experience. We do it at concerts. Um, you know, but I, I, I love it in a, in a comedy space where we're all laughing together. Absolutely. And a lot of that humor for me personally came from Randall Park, who I just thought was his one line is all the way he would just cap off a scene with just some off kilter line yeah. had me yeah. in stitches, but I'm assuming as a director, that must be pretty hard to go through everything that he's probably said for like alternate takes and stuff. Is there anything that you really wish could have made the film that you had to leave on the cutting room floor? Oh, it's a good question. Um, I mean, I'm sure there are, like, I, you know, the thing is, if there's something that I love to death, I will I will fight to the death to keep it in. You know, that's sort of my job of like, no. Obviously, it's hard when it's like, if it's no one's laughing and I'm the only one laughing, it's a little harder to sell to everyone around me. Like, we're keeping this. Um, <laughs> no, I wish I had a good answer for you. I mean, there's like, I think the like the length of scenes, I try to keep, I'm, I'm a fan of keeping, you know, films the length they deserve to be and holding an audience attention. And sometimes, you know, it's natural. Films can get bloated. And sometimes, particularly in comedy, you run the risk of kind of falling in love with um, comedic runs. And they are really fun and they could be working for me and they could be working for you. But if they're not on story and they're not progressing the story, sometimes they can lose the you know the larger audience and so i think there's runs in this movie that i probably would have liked to have longer and i mean even by the way look the poop poop montage or as i called it the poop ballet which was a bit of a musical <laughs> uh, like a musical busby berkeley of 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 dog poop um like everybody has a different tolerance for that kind of comedy so finding the right balance i probably was ready to go longer and the longer it got the funnier it got to me just like we're still in this okay uh, and others are just like, please get me out of this scene because they just have zero tolerance for that, which I totally ap appreciate. So that's probably more where it lands. It's like length of a scene. I probably uh, gave in on some of the stuff that maybe could have been longer. Totally. Hey, Josh, I'm getting the wrap now, but I just want to quickly ask, has your mother-in-law seen this? No. And she's coming. <laughs> she's coming Wednesday night. It's going to be really <laughs> funny. I will have to report back. I don't think it's going to go well. I, I'm just going to be honest. I can think uh, of a couple of things that might, you know, yeah. she might not love. <laughs> she also, by the way, this is very funny, but she also was very excited for Barb and Star and then uh, invited all of her friends over and it was not her, their cup of tea either. <laughs> it was a little bit of like, what's funny about this? Why do they think modeling at Costco is funny? And I was like, oh, right. Okay. This is not the right audience. <laughs> Um, anyway, so, but I love her dearly. She is a very funny woman, but just these aren't maybe quite, I didn't quite make them for her. So 
But I'll I can understand know. that. I'll let you know how it plays for her. <laughs> By the way, the other night we had a screening and these two, oh, um, sorry, I'm taking up too much time, but there were these two older kind of like probably mid 70s women who were adorable and they walked out of the movie at the end. And I didn't walk out of the middle, but as the movie ended and I was in the wings about to do a Q&A and they were kind of giggling. I could see they enjoyed it, but one of them, Actually, I think she turned to me, not to her friend. She didn't know I was a director. She just was walking out, and she goes, well, that was a bit much. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, absolutely. I think that's a compliment, a good, man. I think that's a compliment. compliment. I'll take it. Uh, anyway. Oh, man. That's my time, man. I really appreciate talking, man, and I can't wait to talk to you again soon. Yeah, Nick, same. Good talking with you.